Hello, I'm a solo game dev developing a game called Generation Ship and you don't need prior knowledge of the game before watching this video but if this piques your interest be sure to check out my devlogs. So this will not be that much of a guide but uh, more of a what have I learned type of video. I've been on this project for 4 months now and some of the first things I did was I wanted to get a feel for what the game should look like and what feelings it should convey. And at first I was also thinking of creating Factorio style graphics but at that point it would have been just better to make the game 3D altogether since the sprites are made from flattened 3D models in that game. And 3D is too much of a work for solo developers, I believe much of you uh, agree. So first I scribbled some drawings on a paper after I knew I wanted the individual grid sizes to be about 64 by 64 pixels. The screen will be somewhat zoomed out most of the time so a more detailed sprite wouldn't be much of a good idea. I also added a small area for the building's height so there is a 16 pixel overlap possibility with adjacent areas at this point. Uh, a few months passed and once I wanted to create an outline for the building that I had chosen I realized that if I wanted to do it with shaders the sprites had to be redone a bit. There has to be free space around the sprites to make this work. So I did just that. So far I had only made a few sprites since I wasn't sure of the graphic style I wanted and these graphics were still kind of a placeholder at this point. I started doing the housing and farm buildings since those were the few buildings that the player really has to have not to kill the passengers outright and hopefully the player wants the passengers to stay alive of course, but uh, well the player chooses how they want to play the game. I also created the rest of the sprites by just scaling the farm building and creating a text title to understand what building I'm building, just for playtesting purposes. At first I didn't realize the problem with my current sprites design wise, but after a bit of playtesting it was all too clear. They were a bit duty detailed and not distinct enough from one another. I've been doing a bit too much small details like fans and walkways and doors on the farm building and the scale was off. It doesn't matter if the characters are a bit too big for the building since the graphics are a bit cartoony after all and it wouldn't be much fun if the characters were only one pixel big. So I want there to be a bit character to the passengers. So for my next sprite version I implemented a bit of shadows and lighting a bit better, not exactly pixel art as the first version. I also created cool looking grass for the farm, but still the same thing happened in game, they are way too small. The game is mostly played with quite a zoomed out view and the building should be easily distinguishable, even from afar. So in my opinion, even though I love Frostpunk for example, and especially the feel and graphics, the buildings are sometimes hard to tell apart. I want my game to be easily continued even after like weeks of not playing it, so some building games take a long time to get used to after a break since the buildings just look the same in the player's eyes. I also thought about creating two different sprites, one with the far version and one more detail that gets activated if the camera is close, but that seems like way too much work and hard to implement correctly. So, let's jump to my last version. I tried searching online for a game that has done something like this, but mostly the building games are always 3D, but I got this graphic idea from mixing RimWorld and Islanders. In RimWorld there is only always a thick black outline around objects and then all the colors inside the outline are quite far away from uh, the dark black color. And in the Islanders the buildings don't have outlines at all and all the objects inside the sprites are made up of pretty much one or two colors. So I won't be making black or even dark gray outlines for any parts uh, inside the sprite graphic. The only outline will be the black one. So they uh, kind of like pop out from the screen in a way. The darkest color I use here is very far from black as you can see. This way I can also create a nice color scale for each building if I want to make them distinctly different by color. Also applying lights will be a bit easier now. I also redid the walls a couple of times and now I feel like they're the way I want it to be. At least code wise I might be changing the sprites a bit but uh, now I can easily make more maps, more backgrounds faster. 
So what should I, um, so what should you and I learn from this? Don't do too much sprites before you're set on the graphic design idea. When making details, think to yourself, are the players even going to see all the details? And finally, it is a game after all and all things interface and gameplay wise should be easily understood. So this means that do the graphics in a way that they're easy to understand. Don't do them too bland to compromise the artistic view in the game, but make them so that they are easily understood. And Tetris for example is a great example for this. Thank you for watching the video and throw down a comment down below if you want to take part in the discussion, subscribe if you still haven't and check out my other videos if the generation ship game piqued your interest. See you next time.